Welcome to Let's Automate It with Robin. Automations, AI, all good things for non-techies. And if you have a N8N instance running, this is what's on the screen right now, you're looking at an N8N instance. And if you have one running and you've set it up by following the instructions on one of my previous videos on how to install N8N, well, if you have self-hosting in ATN, you are responsible for maintaining updates as well. And if we look at this in 8N, we can see we have one update pending. It is one update behind current. In 8N is pretty prolific. They release updates almost every week. I normally hang back one or two or maybe even three updates, but I've never had an issue updating. And um, oh, I don't think I've ever seen a bug uh, that was catastrophic. Uh, but sometimes it's good practice to maybe hang back a version or two but nonetheless you're going to need to update this and they do release some really great updates if we look at this one this is pretty straightforward this was at least released a week ago includes node enhancements and bug fixes um, but nonetheless let's keep this up to date so i've just made a quick note here right here on this n8n workflow how to update n8n so let's do that now First step here is log into terminal with SSH. If you followed the steps in my installation, you might have set up your own SSH key. That's gonna let your local machine log into the server that N8N is hosted on. And that's what I'm gonna do, and we can run those steps there. The alternative though is to log into the console of your, um, whatever you're hosting with. I prefer DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean and your DigitalOcean interface has got a console, but basically you just wanna get access to your server so you can send it commands. So uh, let me just bring up terminal here. So here's our terminal. This is a little window on my local machine and we're just going to access um, that particular server, that DigitalOcean droplet that has got this um, installed. Now to access that server, I just need to put in this command here. This IP address is would be the IP address of the server that, uh, your, the IP address of your server that N8N is, is installed on. Now, this is only going to work if you've got your SSH key installed, and then it should be able to have a handshake. There we go. We are logged into this particular server. So let's now just follow these instructions. So log into terminal, we've done that log into the correct directory. This is very important. We need to log into this directory here. So CD means change directory, and that's the directory to log into. Now these in instructions apply if you are um, have installed N8N the way that I've shown you in my prior video on how to install N8N using DigitalOcean. If you've installed it any different way, these instructions may not work, but let's do that. So I've just hit enter there. And now I'm in this, this directory called n8n docker uh, dash caddy. So now the next step is to pull the latest version. So for that, it's docker compose pull. Grab that and head back to our terminal and hit enter. And now what it's doing is going and it's pulling the very latest data from n8n. There it is extracting. Take a couple of seconds to get the job done. And progress, not too slow. And done, waiting for the next command. Let's go back over to our N8N and have a look at what these instructions are. Now we need to stop and remove the older version. So we're going to stop Docker Compose. This is done by this command, which is Docker Compose down. We come back here, this is just going to shut down the container, the Docker container that's running. All right, that's been done. Now we have to come back and look at our instructions. Now, now that it's done, we're now, basically this is like shutting down Docker, then starting it up. And when it starts up, it's going to apply those changes, those, the newest flower, <laughs> flowers, the newest files we just downloaded. So I'm taking this start composer, Docker compose up minus D and just gonna pop it. It really is very, very simple. We just follow these instructions, pop it in, and it starts it. It's busy booting up. It's busy booting up. Let's test and see what's going on. So we're in this particular N8N. I'm just gonna kind of take it back to the uh, to the home page, and I am 
expecting to see a fault actually because it's busy booting up let's just see what happens here let's refresh this page give it a moment now often when you first boot up oh, refresh the web page i should say after doing an na10 you sometimes get uh, a gateway not available something not available just refresh a couple of times because it takes some time for this to set up but this is actually going really fast and as you can see here it doesn't say that there's any n8n updates available so we are now running at the very very latest version 1.5 1.57.0 and uh yeah it's it's looking good that's how easy it is to install or sorry, install how to update your n8n let me just open this workflow once again and let me recap for you very quickly log into your terminal or log into the console on your digital ocean console and then just move into the right directory by putting that command in then pull it updates then close down the docker container and then start it up again and refresh and you're done simple as that hope that makes it uh, straightforward and uh, keep that n18 up to date because i've got some amazing features coming out regularly catch you later